What is going on everybody? So every now and again there is a film that is released in a year that I feel like doesn't get talked about very much but I see a select few people discussing it and so I always try to go out of my way to watch those types of films because every now and again you get a gem that you really fall in love with that might not be widely talked about. And so I checked out this film. This is a, uh, an independent horror film called The Passenger. The Passenger, or La Pasajara, is directed by Fernando Gonzalez Gomez and Raul Cerezo. Four people traveling in a van run over a lone woman while she is walking in the dark down a country road. After loading her into the vehicle to take her to the nearest hospital, they notice she is behaving strangely. The occupants of the van soon realize that the time has come to fight for their lives, and together they agree on one very simple rule. Do not sit next to her. So that plot description is seemingly accurate. Uh, so this film tells the story of this guy who is incredibly eccentric, who drives this sort of like ride share vehicle. He ends up picking up this woman who is by herself that's traveling to this area and then this other woman with her daughter. And the man and the daughter sit in the front and the two older women sit in the back. And the beginning of the film is all conversations between these people. You can tell the man is a bit of a misogynist. Uh, he's got some uh, really backwards opinions on the world, but he's also incredibly comical and funny to watch on screen. He's very charismatic. The daughter kind of butts heads with him and goes back and forth with him on a lot of different subject matter, which I thought was one of the better parts of the film. And so the two women in the back start to get to know each other. You find out the one woman has cancer. She's trying to go get healing done for it. And the other woman is going through a separation with her husband, but she's trying to split custody of their daughter. And so you get all these family dynamics build up in about the first 20 minutes of the film. Well, after that, they stumble upon this weird crash looking alien craft that's leaking this like goopy material. And they stop and the daughter touches it and it ends up getting in her fingernail but nothing seemingly happens and so they get back in the car they start driving and the man hits a woman in the middle of the road when they put her in the car one of the women is checking on her she ends up turning into this creature and like transferring the creature into the other woman's body and then it becomes like a cat and mouse game of this weird alien creature and these people in this rideshare vehicle. So this is not a concept that we have not experienced before. I feel like this has been done in horror movies again and again and again. And this was still a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself throughout this one. I don't think that this is a perfect movie. I think it definitely has some pacing issues. It overstays its welcome a little bit too long, even though the film is only an hour and a half long. But there is some really cool stylistic choices with the way that this thing shot. The creature design looks really great, other than some of the fast moving sequences where it's moving like crazy. It's really campy and stupid looking, but it doesn't come across as funny. It just comes across as like uh, they had a limited budget and it was the only way they could do it. And there are definitely some really fun, gorier moments in this that I really appreciated. And you could tell this is someone who really wanted to make a fun, sort of in-your-face, Evil Dead-style uh, horror film. But it doesn't 100% stick the landing. I feel like the end of the movie was kind of just like, well, we got to find a way to end this, so this is the way that we're going to end the movie. And it left me wanting more. But there were so many sequences in this that I found myself just smiling because of the dialogue. And if you can make a horror movie with great dialogue I have to commend you and this movie had some really great dialogue some really great sequences that I appreciated I just think it took a little bit too long to build itself up and then it did not stick the landing very well but it was a fun little atmospheric horror movie that if you find yourself wanting to rent something that's new and different and uh, that you probably hadn't heard about in 2022 this is one that I think that you'll enjoy I feel like not enough people saw this one and it is really entertaining and it's one that I I think you'll enjoy if you check it out. It's not perfect, but I think you'll have fun. So have you seen The Passenger? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was a lot of fun. Although it was not a perfect film, I still thought that it was really enjoyable. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.